in the 1950s but really took shape around the 1970s. During the second half of the Cultural Revolution in China, around the early 1970s, the works of amateur artists amongst workers and peasants were given nationwide attention and support. They painted optimistic portrayals of the new socialist countryside. With certain propaganda purposes, the highly political paintings illustrated idyllic slices of the good life in rural China, with happy peasants living very comfortable lives. Shanghai has been known as one of the top three famous towns for peasant painting. Embodying features of modern folk art, Jinshan peasant paintings are especially known to be influenced by traditional Chinese folk arts, such as paper cutting, paper folding, weaving, and embroidery. <laughs> The subjects of these paintings are mostly rural scenery and snapshots of everyday life. Spatial reality and perspective are relatively unimportant, as figures and objects are usually drawn in a way that looks childlike. Using bright colors and concise techniques, they successfully depict a love for ordinary life of children, of work, and family. I want to make our whole Taken together, these elements give Chinese peasant art a very distinct style that feels both sincere and creative. <laughs> Uh, 平时呢, 我就是阳光好的时候, 就就住在这个, 就今天,